Howdy, I wanted to go over the last couple of steps um, of the working with the DEM lab, specifically running um, zonal statistics and focal statistics on the land cover. It's kind of a cool data set because it's not your typical um, ranked numeric uh, raster where you have a range of values that represents elevation or slope. Um, you know, even precipitation, um, temperature, things like that. Instead, the attribute table for land cover is more of a legend or a key. So we've got um, kind of nominal or categorical um, descriptions for things. So, for example, we've got a bunch of land cover types. Let me just scooch this over. Um, here, they're not ranked in any particular order. They're just a bunch of names, but they're given a value, which is a code or a legend that represents these things. So these don't have any intrinsic value other than they're just a number that represents this. And so the the way that we interpret zonal statistics tables is going to be a little bit different than um, being able to take the min, max, mean like you did with a slope. So if we run zonal statistics as the table, the zone that we care about is our study area. Uh, we just want to know what the dominant land cover type is in the study area. So we're going to stick that into the feature zone data. Um, it defaults to the ID. That's fine. Our value raster is going to be the land cover. Those are the cells that have the values that we care about. And I'm just going to drop it in the default geo database, but you should use this button and navigate to the place that you literally want to output that to. Um, and I'm going to have it produce all statistics types. It's going to run, hopefully quickly pumps it out for me. Um, I don't need this guy. Oops, close. So if I open the results there, it just gives me one row because I had one record, just the study area. And I've got a bunch of stuff here that doesn't necessarily help us in any way, but it gives us a count. This is the number of cells in the land cover raster that fell within our study site area. The min and the max are the min and the max values. And remember, this keeps going back to uh, the attribute table here. <coughs> what we're talking about are the min and max values here. So within the study site itself, the lowest value was Rocky Mountain, Cliff, and Canyon. And the um, highest value was 119. This is the range of values. This really makes no sense at all. It's meaningless. I mean, it makes sense in that it's the difference between these two, but this doesn't inform us of anything. The mean is meaningless. Standard deviation, meaningless, because it's taking the mean of categorical numbers. Sum, meaningless. The variety is an interesting number when it comes to uh, this type of thing. It's saying within the uh, study area itself, there were 21 different land cover types um, identified. That's kind of cool. Majority is what we're looking at. The majority, this is the value that appeared most often in our study site, and so it's value of 62 that we want to look back at. So if we go back over to the attribute table and look at value 62, that's Intermountain Basins, Montane, Sagebrush Step. This is the most commonly found land cover type in the study area. So I hope that makes sense.